Hi guys, I just wanted to do a quick live for you. It's Shay here. Um, beautiful day, beautiful morning. I'm in my backyard. I'm about to go and do my morning routine. It's just me and Molly, the amazing sun gazing dog here. Let's see if she'll come up and say hello. Try and ring me the other morning, Alex. Yeah. Good morning. Oh, lots of people there. Lots of people tuning in. Yeah, there's been something. It was an amazing. Um, we had a really nice meet up last night. Hi, Hanya. And we discussed a lot of local indigenous dreaming and legends and local indigenous um, spirit creatures that live in the area. So, um, goodness me, there's so many people. Uh, hi, Adam. Hi, Jill. Jill, we missed you last night when you kind of come back to the meetups. So, it was really lovely. We had a really nice group of people, and everybody brought amazing food. But I wanted to give you a quiet, still life this morning. I do, like, I've been doing my yoga and I've been doing all different things for you. Um, I might do some here in the backyard at, late, at different times in the day for you. But there's something in the air at the moment. It's not just all the earthquakes. We've had three earthquakes over um, 0.3 on the Richter scale in Australia and people go, oh, 0.3, it's nothing. No, it'll still crack your windows and shake your walls. So there is a shift coming. Um, the next couple of days, the next week or so, is going to be a week that will really change things for a lot of people. And I'm not saying this in a scary way. I mean, there's going to be a shift. Um, the earth is just showing us that there is a shift. And there's going to be a big shift for a lot of people as well. Anytime there is a change, there's always a potential for people to use that change to swing them to where they need to be. And there's also the potential for people to hide from that change and then the change happens anyway and they don't end up in the best circumstances for themselves they could have used that better so what I'm suggesting to people is that they do use this change they use this power of this change it's coming towards them um, if there's things that you do want to change in your life, think about it. Make yourself a list of the things that you really want to change, the things that you want to improve, the things that you want to do for the next 12 months. Um, so that when that change comes through, you can grab it and swing in the direction that you want to go. Hi, Adam. How are you? Good to see you, my love. So there's so much potential for that. And I just want you guys to be ready for it. Um, it's going to be a busy weekend. We are, there's a few people turning up. They've said they're going to turn up and help us finish off the landscaping out the front. So in future, when people arrive, it won't look like you're coming to a half-finished house that's got a jungle out the front. If anybody's ever been to my place, you know how, um, you know, I love growing things and how much our edible garden. I, I will do a live one day and walk you through our beautiful edible garden and show you all the plants that are there um, we are going to have a plant sale so we'll be selling some plants out the front for two dollars and five dollars and all of that money will go into the landscaping out the front uh, thank you to the people who said they are coming we are going to have a barbecue lunch um, and then after this week things are going to be different and not just because the landscaping out the front is going to be different but because there is a shift and you, I'm sure you can, anybody who's halfway psychic can feel this in the air as well. So breathe it in. If you're the kind of person that doesn't like change and is afraid of change, look in deeply into your own eyes in the mirror and go, I embrace the change and I turn them and utilize them for my maximum benefit. Make sure that you are in the right place at the right times, not the wrong place at the wrong time. Right? Make sure that people that you haven't hugged for a while, you give a hug to, 
make sure if there's somebody you, that you want to catch up with that you haven't caught up with for a while that you do so. There's potential for great change here. Sure, look, pooey things happen, right? And out of all the wonderful people in my life, you know, I've probably got three or four that have tried to do pooey things with me. But the, the whole point of magic is that we can take that and turn this to our advantage. Magic is about utilizing the energy that is there and turning it, rotating it. That's what the tarot means, to turn and rotate. Turning and rotating the energy so it's to our advantage. Right. So anything that anybody tries to throw at you that is bad, you know, whether it comes from the government, whether it comes from individuals, whether it comes from nature, you look at that energy and you go, thank you. I can use that for. Oh, okay. They've tried to hurt me with this, but they don't know that they've just given me a big stepping stone. In fact, most times when people try and hurt another individual, it might take a little while, but it ends up hurting themselves worth. And I'm not saying that to be vicious or because of revenge. It's it just, you know, I've lived long enough to see that that's the way it happens. So as the changes come, Embrace them for yourself. Turn around to the people who do matter, not the ones that don't, not the ones that try and bully you, not the ones that try and be mean to you. Right? And turn around to the people that do matter and go, I love you. I'm so glad you're in my life in this wonderful, beautiful world. And I, I think with the lives and the photos, I've taken you around enough places to show you that, sure, you can go to exotic countries and, and see that the world is beautiful, but the trick is turning around and seeing how wonderful the world is right here and with our meetup last night when we were talking about indigenous spirituality for the local area in Deb, people started to see how spiritual it is right here and right now. So wherever you are, if you're sitting in bed and watching me, just go, hmm, this is wonderful. This is my wonderful bed. This is my wonderful spot on this planet. And I'm going to use this energy to create blah for me because we are creative beings. If we're not growing, we're dying. If we're not creating, we're destroying. So make sure that you're starting to create the absolute thing that you need for yourself. The absolute thing that you need for the people around you because you can do this because we are all magic. We are all the core of our being is about being able to utilize this energy and if you've forgotten this because you're lost in victim consciousness well get off your knees get down off the cross somebody else needs the tent and start getting up and doing something with your life I'm so tired of hearing people on the internet giving me whinges oh, I'm sick oh I've got this I'm looking after my poor sick parents I get off your knees and point yourself in the direction that you want to go and make this world and the people around you who you think are victimizing you because basis of martial arts where somebody overextends themselves towards you to victimize you they are making themselves vulnerable realize that stop playing a victim start to grab this energy realize how powerful you are yes the scary thing is that you're 100 percent responsible for everything that happens in your life once you take that responsibility, you can do anything. And this is what I need you to do. This is the week where everything changes for you. Every blessing on this journey could be fun. Could be a bit of a wild ride. Going on my morning routine now. Hope you enjoy yours.